In this video study, we are going to be looking at Matthew chapter 3 and verses 1 to 3. The text I'm going to read is going to be taken from the Amplified New Testament. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 1. In those days there appeared John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness, desert, of Judea and saying, Repent, that is, think differently, change your mind, regretting your sins and changing your conduct, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is he who is mentioned by the prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, shouting in the desert, Prepare the road for the Lord, make his highway straight, level, direct. Isaiah 40, verse 3. Matthew makes a jump from the end of chapter 2 to the beginning of chapter 3. A number of decades pass. We go from the life of Mary and Joseph to the emergence of John the Baptist. John the Baptist is one of those biblical characters that is easy to speculate on. We know just enough about him to get a sense that we know him. Yet, when we really look at things, we really do not know anything about him. His coming is linked in Matthew's Gospel to a verse in Isaiah. His role is to make ready or prepare the way for the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. If you have ever moved into a new house, you'll probably find that when you move into it, that there are there will be some basic yard work done for you. They might have put out, for example, fresh sod in the front yard, maybe even the backyard. The city itself might have put on the median in front of your house a tree because they want because they want to develop a an urban canopy. The one thing you will not find if you move into a new house, though, is probably a vegetable garden ready to go. Now, if you've ever done any gardening work, and in particular, I'm thinking of vegetables, you know that if you don't have a plot that has been prepared, you don't get a very good return. And preparing a vegetable garden requires nutrients like manure, maybe some peat moss, you're going to have to break up the soil. You may have to remove rocks. The point is that often a vegetable garden takes time to develop more than one year. A vegetable garden that has not been properly prepared for will produce disappointing results. Look at a church or two or three and ask yourself why one is noted for its ministerial impact and other churches are not. Did that church simply decide one day to impact its community? The foundation of that work will be prayer. You see, it does not take much in a fallen world to know that there are needs around us. Churches can be guilty of meeting perceived needs and not real needs. Prayer gives us the vision for the work of God. Planning is the next step. This is where we take stock of our resources. Do we need to redirect church finances? Do we need to train people? Do we need to find help? Patience is critical at this point. Patience is where we open up room for God to work. If it is of God, then it does not mean it will be without bumps on the road. If it is of God, things will come together. It might be the money. It might be the workers, or it might be the opportunities. When we look at John the Baptist, we do not know what he did before he became the forerunner. But think of for a moment of taking up a basket of vegetables at the end of the summer harvest time. You have tomatoes, peppers, zucchinis, green beans, peas, whatever. You look at those vegetables and you know that in order for that basket to be here, there had to be preparation work. 
You might not necessarily know how that was done, but you know that the proof is there in those fresh vegetables before you. In Luke's gospel, we are told that John the Baptist was born before Jesus, Luke chapter 1. In Luke chapter 3, verse 23, we are told that Jesus began his ministry when he was about 30 years old. In other words, there was a long time of preparation before John the Baptist became a forerunner and began his ministry. Billy Graham, the famous 20th century American evangelist, has a quote that goes something like this. As he looked back at his work, he said, I wish I spent more time in preparation and less time in actually doing the work. Preparation is paramount to successful service for the King of Kings. Preparation may be formal education or not. Preparation may be learning to live by faith in the turmoil of your present life. Preparation may be decades long. That was the case with John the Baptist. You may be wondering what God is doing in your life. Maybe what he is doing is preparing you for a work that he has in the future. 